In the 1960s and 70s, for the newly independent India, it was essential to become self-sufficient as far as the food production was concerned. The answer to that was, of course, the Green Revolution. With the Green Revolution, India did produce more crops and enough food grains for the entire nation. But artificial fertilizers and pesticides also made their way into Indian agriculture. Our agriculture, including the water we drink, the air we breathe, and the soil our crops are grown in, is being impacted. The sustainable answer to this problem was, of course, adopting organic farming. Now, organic farming is being encouraged worldwide due to the negative effect that it has on the farming and on the environment. Today, I have got you a very inspirational story of a state that has made the entire nation very proud. Today, I have got you a story of how Sikkim became the role model for the rest of the planet by becoming the world's first organic state. Hello and welcome to Freedom's Farming Channel. I am Namita Pandey and if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, then make sure that you do so. Now, according to the London-based World Book of Records, Sikkim is the first organic state in the entire world. The state is recognized for, being, for establishing itself as the first state in the world to adopt 100% organic policy. So what do we understand when we say organic farming? Well, let me tell you, organic farming is an evergreen ancient method by which the environment remains pure and the, the natural nature of the soil also is maintained. Due to its use, the soil remains fertile and also the drought-like situation are very less likely to happen. Further, the soil fertilizers are used instead of the chemical fertilizers and also the organic fertilizers are used instead of the insecticides during organic farming. In organic farming, let me tell you, the cow dungs, the compost manures, the green manures, biopesticides, earthworm manure, green neem cake, and also the lemongrass and also the fruit residues are used. It actually follows the bacterial culture. So how did Sikkim become the first state in the entire world to become an organic state? What led it the state to become organic? Well, let me tell you, to make Sikkim an organic state, as much as 75,000 hectares of land were converted into organic. The emphasis was laid on the use of organic instead of the chemical, which is the chemical, by which I mean the chemical pesticides. In this action plan, actually, the Sikkim government prohibited the use of chemical fertilizers as well as the pesticides by the farmers there. Also, let me tell you, the violation of this particular law led to the imprisonment of at least three months and also included a fine of rupees one lakh. The then Chief Minister Pawan Chamling had formed the Sikkim State Board. A partnership was also initiated with many agricultural development as well as the research organizations in the country and abroad, including the biological research from Switzerland. The government focused on developing the village panchayats in the form of the clusters for organic farming. Let me tell you that organic farming was done on as much as 8,35,000 hectares of land in Sikkim, which actually benefited in return about 4 lakh farmers. There, the target was set to cover about 50,000 hectares of land and about 2.5 thousand farmers' interest groups were formed, through which about 45,000 farmers were associated with organic scheme. The entire state actually adopted the concept of bio-village. So what is this? Let me explain. Well, surprisingly, Sikkim was experiencing a drop in the revenue as well as the output when the state actually opted to switch to organic farming. People were made aware of organic fertilizers by visiting organic firms, by visiting schools, as well as even the residences. The management of nutrition, the methods, the pest control, as well as the agricultural laboratories was also covered. Now, there were many awareness campaigns organized in the acidic soil treatment, also on the organic packaging, etc. Now, the road to entire transition to a fully organic state was not an easy task at all for the government. The state government first adopted the villages and then they resolved to cover and convert them into bio-villages. The entire quota being given to manure was closed and the organic manure was made available to all of them. 
along with this let me tell you organic certificates were also given to the people for this particular farming so after taking all these steps the scope of cultivation of sikkim has increased and more than 22 lakh hectares of production was recorded when his government when pavan chamling's government actually embarked on organic farming mission back in the year 2003 it was confronted by the opposition parties and also the vested interest of the chemical sector but through their hard work backed by the strong political commitment sikkim was able to overcome all the odds and become totally organic state by the year 2015. now several indian states today like kerala and also those in the northeast are trying are setting examples of sikkim and they're trying to implement whatever they have implemented the schemes and everything that the government did in their particular in their respective states and union territories Firstly, let me tell you that these days organic farming has become an increasingly popular concept as it protects the environment as well as it increases food production. We all know for the fact that in the by the year 2050, the population is actually set to double and triple, not only in India but also across the world. Moving on to the other benefit, let me tell you, organic farming actually protects the farm-friendly insects. This in, in return increases the groundwater level. We all know that water is also said to reduce by the as in how we all grow, water is becoming less and less. Now to tell you a few points and a few benefits associated with organic farming. Firstly, let me tell you that these days organic farming has become an increasingly popular concept as it protects the environment as well as it increases food production. We all know for the fact that in the by the year 2050, the population is actually set to double and triple not only in India, but also across the world. Now this in return actually means that there will be, as in how there will be more population, there also will be a demand for food as well. So by adopting organic farming today, you can also cater to the large population that is set to come. Moving on to the other benefit, let me tell you, organic farming actually protects the farm friendly insects. This in, in return increases the groundwater level. We all know that water is also said to reduce by the as in how we all grow water is becoming less and less there are so many cities in the country who are actually facing the scarcity of water so by adopting organic farming you can also face this problem with ease or you might not as well face this problem at all now the third benefit here includes it actually reduces the cost of agriculture and it increases the quality of the production or the crop that you're producing further the ecology also works well due to organic farming and last but not the least the crops are rotated so that they get proper nutrition so there are plenty of benefits that you get when you adopt organic farming like Sikkim, we as a nation should actually strive to become an organic state and organic nation altogether Sikkim today got an oscar with by the united states for becoming an organic state but we as a nation so should strive and become organic in all forms so that today we not only consume healthy food but also we cater to that we understand that our environment that we live in the air we breathe the soil we eat the where our crops are grown are also safe it is not only for us but also for the future generation also to sustain and live a healthy life so if you're a farmer who is already into farming and you are you are already into traditional farming then it's time that you start organic farming because today there are many states there are many union territories and also the central government who are supporting farmers to adopt organic farming there are so many schemes out there available by which you get financial assistance by which you get trainings and also subsidies there are so many on machineries etc that you can avail from the government and start your own organic farming now if you're wondering how you can start your organic farming how, how do you begin with? What is the investment like? How much of area of acres of land that you can start your organic farming? What is the entire process like? Then don't worry because we have got you covered and we've got you freedom app which you can easily download from Play Store or App Store wherein we have expert in the field who will teach you A to Z of how you can start organic farming. Not only this, once you download the app and get access to the app, you not only understand what the entire concept or the entire process of organic farming, but also any particular farming that you are interested in. And the interesting fact here is that 
you get to hear and listen from the expert in the field not only in english but also in your respective language so if you're comfortable understanding kannada if you're comfortable understanding tamil or hindi or malayalam or telugu then we also have expert in that particular language wherein you can understand in your own mother tongue and start your own organic farming so hurry up and download freedom app from play store or app store Also do not forget to hit on the like button subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit on the bell icon to get notified for our next video I hope this video was quite helpful and informative so do not forget to share it with your friends and family as well thank you for watching freedom get wise break free